As far as the checker zone, Dalpy turned it over to McGing, who's in across the Charlotte zone. McGing has shot through some traffic, and Gusta lets that one hit him in the midsection, and then he gathers in the rebound with the paddle to get a stoppage in play. Five. A pretty free lane down the center of the ice toward the net. Riley Nash now into the Springfield zone, a rink-wide feed fielded by Bowlby. Henry Bowlby, a backhander, they score! Looked like it changed direction as Lucas Carlson, the defenseman, was cutting right through the top of the crease. Didn't look like a whole lot going for Charlotte, but on the backhander, Henry Bowlby. Pestered deep in the offensive zone by Justin Sortov, who steals it. Sortov in front, fires, and Hofer's got it as he shut it down with the armpit, sort of trying to go underneath the short side shoulder. The checker zone, a curl and drag, beautiful move, he fires, blocker save made, Gusta. Rebound bounces down to the feet of Highmore on the left side. Highmore along the wall, surrounded, but got it down deeper to McGing. Centers for Furk, and a save made by Gusta. The obvious of wearing the C. Thiebert's kept this in the offensive zone as Bitten was behind the defense, but Highmore couldn't quite find him on the feed. Now here comes Bitten in over the left wing side, a right wing feed, Santini. Santini the wrist shot, save Gusta. Rebound was there to be had, but Highmore couldn't get a stick clear, but it's held in by Kessel. Kessel to the right wing wall, Bitten in low, looking for Prince, deflected, save Gusta. Rebound poked just wide on the backhand by Highmore. Chance to clear, but Kirstead didn't get much on it. Thiebert swarmed the puck, Highmore in, right wing feed, Bitten missed the net. Five on five again. Jake Neighbors through center and across the Charlotte zone, leaving for Ferk. Ferk sending it in front, off a skate, and a save made by Gusta. I don't know if Gusta had any journey in left. He'll switch position. Center point, Delzato, extra feet. Then a Sanko, another one-timer. That one red and blocked by Kessel. And then another one-timer muted on the way through by Delzato, but it squirts in. That one lost about half of its velocity on the way to the net, but Hofer was looking for it to go blocker side. And the change of pace, perhaps off the captain, Zach Dalpy's twig. Used to seeing for the T-Birds since the start of last year. Carlson from center point. Takes a return from Hepo Niemi there. Again set up, Sordiff left wing side. Justin Sordiff back for Lucas Carlson, and now Sordiff again. Has a screen set up in front. Sordiff doesn't shoot yet. Carlson will. Save made Hofer. Rebound side of the goal. Hit the outside of the post. Caponiemi just couldn't quite stuff it home. Still on the left wing boards. Martin Furk with it. Furk a rink wide feed. McGang a wave and a miss on a one time bid. Kessel in and firing. A save made Gusa. He didn't see the puck right along the goal line, but it was rescued by Kirstead. Nine second period that continues to give them issues. Furk on the right wing. Highmore. Highmore back to Samarukov. A left point shot. They score! From seemingly nothing to Hugh McGinn getting a stick on the Samarukov wrister. And just like that, we have a hockey game again. It's 2 to 1 with 4.58 to go on the third. Center, it bounces into the slot, winding, firing Santini, save Gusta. Rebound was sitting there, and into the corner it goes. Gusta evidently has found the puck and covered it. On the backhand, tries to go up the far side. Furk knocked it down. At the left point, it's one in the middle. Hepo Niemi swipes it. Hepo Niemi will get the red line and fire and score. The former T-Bird Hepo Niemi hits the empty net with 90 seconds to play. And that will throw a wrench into the T-Bird's comeback plans. It's 3-1. to one. Todd. Todd sends in deeper. Gusta stopped it in front of his goal at one, and then it swatted all the way down the ice. And what do you know, it's going to hit the empty net. I believe Carlson will get the credit for that one. He makes it four to one. Puck gets dropped in center. T-Birds will just run the third period clock out. And even though they outshoot the checkers 34 to 22, Jordy Kinnear's team gets their first victory in this building.